Okay. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Nikhil Gajam, working as assistant professor in Department of Computer Science and Engineering in Valchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. In this session, we will see uh, a program for inserting a node at the beginning of a singly circular link list. Uh, learning outcomes. Uh, at the end of this session, student will be able to write a C program for inserting a new node at the beginning of singly circular link list. Now, we will revise just uh, in a minute that what is singly circular link list. We all know that uh, link, uh, link list is defined as a collection of nodes where each node uh, contains two fields. First part is a data part and second part is a pointer which will hold the address of uh, next node generally. Uh, but what is the difference between now uh, singly link list and singly circular link list? In singly list link list, a last node's next part, uh, which is a pointer, which holds an address called as null or which stores a null, indicating that this is the end of singly link list. Now, what is there in singly circular link list? In singly circular link list, last node's uh, next part, which is a pointer part, which holds the address of first node. That's why it becomes a circular one. So this is a uh, major difference or a big difference between singly linked list and singly circular linked list. Okay. So in singly circular linked list, last node's next part hold the address of a start value, start variable. Uh, what is start? Uh, start is a, a global variable. Generally, uh, we used to store the address of first node. Or start will always points to the first node. Okay. Uh, so this is a diagram. Uh, diagrams. A, a difference between singly linked list and singly circular linked list. In the first diagram, uh, this is a singly linked list where three nodes are present in the linked list. A head always points to the first node. Uh, in some program, we use a head or we use a start. Okay. Uh, in singly linked list, last node's next part will always have a null value. In circular linked list or singly circular linked list, uh, last node's next part instead of storing null it will hold the address of head or it will hold the address of first node. That's why it will become a circular one. Okay, This is a singly circular link list. Next, we will see an algorithm for uh, inserting a new node at the beginning of a singly circular link list. Now, these are the steps. Step one is create the new node and store the values. So always whenever you insert a new node in the link list, link list program, first task is to allocate the memory for new node and store whatever values you want to store in the new node first in the data part. Step 2, if link list is empty. So step 2, you are checking that whether a link list is empty or not. If it is an empty, set a value uh, start or point a start to the new node because there is only one node and start will point to that new node and new nodes next will always have the first address of first node. So new nodes next will point to itself only. Step 3, if link list is not empty or some nodes are already present in the singly circular link list, in that case set a new nodes next to the start and set last nodes next part to the new node and set or update the value of start to the new node. So these are this is an algorithm for uh, inserting a new node at the beginning of singly circular link list. We will we'll see an example, a diagrammatical representation. Uh, suppose I want to insert 10, 20, 30 uh, in this sequence only. Initially start will have null value. So next step is insert 10 uh, as a new node uh, in the singly circular link list. So 10 will be inserted and 10's next will point to itself only. Next suppose I want to insert 20. So after 10, so 10, 20 will be inserted after 10 and 20's next part will hold the address of 10 which is a start and next I want to insert 30 so 30 will be inserted in the same procedure. Now I want to insert a new node 5 at the beginning of this singly circular link list. So how to insert first step is to allocate memory for new node set the value 5 in the data part of this new node. Next step new nodes next part will hold the address of start this is the sec second step third step traverse from start to the last node and set last node's next part will point to the new node because you want to insert a new node at the beginning okay and next last last point is update the value of start now start will point to the new node so these are the four steps you have to follow whenever you want to insert a new node at the beginning of singly circular link list 
you can pause the video and you can answer what will be the value present in the next pointer of the last node if singly circular linked list contains only one node. So answer, if singly circular linked list contains only one node, obviously that node's next part will hold the address of itself. Okay. So answer of, for this question is address of same node. Now we will write a function for inserting a new node at the beginning of singly circular linked list. So this is a online GDB uh, where I have written some code already. So this is a structure node. Uh, which contains two parts, data parts and next part. This is a start variable which is a global variable. This is an insert at beginning function which uh, what we are uh, we are implementing now, this function. Display function will display the all the nodes which are present in singly circular linked list. And this is your main. This is uh, a do while loop menu driven program. There are only three functions. Insert at beginning we are implementing now. Display function is already there and case 3 for exit. Okay. So I will write insert at beginning function. Okay. This is insert at beginning. First, whenever you want to insert a new node, first task is to allocate memory for new node. So I will declare first uh, variable two variables. Uh, this is your struct node star uh, new node and star temp. Temp is a temporary pointer uh, used for traversing because you want to traverse from first load node to last node okay so i will allocate memory for new node so this is new node equal to this is struct node star this is type casting malloc function is used for allocating a memory dynamically this is struct node okay this is size of structure node so you have allocated memory and uh, new node will point to that memory allocated okay now you are asking user that enter a value please enter value to be inserted so this is scanf this is percent d comma uh, address of new node arrow data so you have stored the value in the data part. Now next part is to check whether uh, link list is empty or not. Now to check if the start double equal to null, meaning that singly circular link list is empty. In that case, point start to the new node directly and new node arrow next will point to itself. Okay. So this is new node. Okay, if start double equal to null means singly circular linked list is empty. Uh, there, in that case, whatever new node you have allocated, that will be only singly circular linked list. Otherwise, so this is your else part. Else means there are some nodes which are already present in the singly circular linked list and you want to insert a new node at the beginning. So in that case, you traverse to the last node first. So how to traverse? Temp equal to start. So this is while loop. This while temp arrow next, this is not equal to start temp equal to temp arrow next. So temp will traverse till the last node. When temp will point to the last node, in that case it will come out of this while loop. So next part is joining of this uh, last nodes uh, with the a new node. So how to join this temp arrow next, last nodes next part will hold the address of new node. New node arrow next. Sorry, new node. New node's next part will hold the address of start and start will point to the new node. Okay. So this is a code. So what I have done in insert at beginning function first I have declared two pointer variables. First one is for new node, second one is for traversing temp. Next one I have allocated memory for new node and I have stored the value ins inside a data part of that new node. 
next task is to check whether singly circular linked list is empty or not if it is an empty directly point start to the new node and new nodes next part will point to itself otherwise traverse stem from first node to the last node and then uh, link last node with the first node uh, new node and new node to the start like this so temp arrow next means last nodes next will hold the address of new node new nodes next will hold the address of first node and change the value of start i will execute this code okay um, this is printf Okay, uh, case one for insert at beginning. So I want to insert suppose ten. Suppose I I want to insert again uh, a value. I want to insert is five. Suppose, and I will call display function. So it is printing now five and ten. Ten is the first node I have inserted in the singly circular linked list. It will be inserted at beginning. Next I have I, I have inserted five value. So it will be inserted at beginning of singly circular linked list. So this is a code for singly circular linked list. for function insert at beginning okay again i will move to the ppt okay these are some of the references i have used uh, for creating this video thank you